In vanilla Monster Hunter World, I had a build called Mama Said Knock You Out. And yes, it's named after the old school LL Cool J song. Uh, well, that was a hammer build with Slugger and Sleep to literally knock monsters on their asses. This build is like a Pokemon evolution for that one. I call it Mr. Sandman. It's a beefy hammer build that utilizes a sleep ailment along with five points in Slugger from yet again another bonus skill. It's a build that not only can knock a monster on its face, but also make them drift off into a dreamland. That is until you violently wake them up. Alright then, let's get to building it. It's a fairly straightforward build and shouldn't be too difficult for people to put together. The weapon we're running is the Ban Gavel 2. This is the Radabon Hammer. And for this one, I highly suggest you slot in the Affinity Augment with whatever else you decide to run. The head and chest come from Rajang, with the Golden Headdress Alpha in the head and Golden Howdy Beta on the chest. The arms, waist, and legs come from Black Diablos, with the Nero Graces Alpha in the arms, the Nero Coil Beta on the waist, and the Nero Greaves Alpha on the legs. The charm we're going to run is the Health Charm Level 3. Alright, as for decorations, it's going to be pretty simple here because there are no slots in the weapon or the head. We're going to pop the level 4 expert jewel along with two level 1 expert jewels in the chest. We're going to put two expert jewels in the arms, a tenderizer and expert jewel in the waist, and we're going to throw a fortitude jewel in the legs. If you've been following along, the skills we're going to get is critical eye maxed out at level 7, slugger maxed out and extended at level 5, Resentment at 4, Health Boost at 3, Weakness Exploit at 3, 2 points in Handicraft, and Fortify and Marathon Runner at 1, and with both the Slugger Secret and Mind's Eye bonus skills active. So first and foremost, I need to touch on Slugger Secret and how amazing 5 points in Slugger actually is. Now a weapon like the hammer does the best damage by going for the head. In turn, this greatly increases the chances that you'll knock a monster out. The 5 points in Slugger gives you a 60% increase in your stun power. That means you're going to be knocking monsters flat on their faces more often. I found myself stunning monsters so much, especially ones that are very susceptible to stuns, that I begin to feel kind of bad for them. Uh, that is only mind you until I uh, remember that I need to hunt down their entire family tree just to make some fancy pants. One thing I do need to caution you is a little bit of restraint when you're running this build. Since this is a sleep hammer build with Slugger, if you notice the monster going to sleep, do yourself a favor and stop bashing that head. I've overwritten a sleep ailment so many times because I just kept on bashing away, and while a monster is in the middle of its sleep animation, it can still get knocked down with a stun and you'll end up losing out on that sleep. You're better off flinch shotting the monster or waking it up with a violent wake up hit and then continuing the onslaught and then getting a stun off. The affinity augment, max critical eye, and weakness exploit gives up an 80% affinity when hitting weak spots and a 100% affinity on softened weak spots. Mind's eye from the Rajang set bonus ensures that even if we dip into the blue sharpness, we still won't bounce off the hard monster parts. And the Resentment is always a nice and interesting skill to have because at level 4, we get plus 20 in attack when we have that red recoverable health. Of course, I once again went for max health boost because why not? I hate being one-shotted by monsters and master rank monsters hit very hard. Also, one thing I love about the Radamon Hammer is that it gives us plus 35 in defense. It's a welcome addition to those hard-hitting master rank monsters. As for my suggested adjustments, here are a few that you can run. First one, I want to focus on the weapon itself. If you want to sacrifice the 35 defense boost and a bit of the damage, you can opt for using the Nyx Hammer too. This is the Nightshade Palumu Hammer. This one also gives you more sleep while offering a level 2 deco slot. Personally, I went for the Rodbon Hammer because of the defense boost, but this is a viable option if you want to go that route. And with the level 2 deco slot, you can pop in some critical boost, a sharp deco, a furo deco to get resentment up to max, or whatever else you want. 
If you prefer not to use Health Boost, feel free to swap the charm for whatever you want, with options like Attack Charm 4 to get a plus 12 boost in attack and 5% boost in affinity, or the Trank Charm 4 to grab 30% sleep buildup with that plus 10 bonus. Also, like I said previously, I don't have a level 4 Tenderizer Deco, so if you have one, do yourself a favor and slot that into the level 4 slot I used for my Tenderizer Deco in this build. You might as well go for that extra skill. Thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate you guys checking out this build. I hope you found it enlightening. And once again, I do need to stress that these are not meant to replace the meta. It's personally a fun and interesting way to play the game. And while these aren't speedrunner builds, and I'm not a speedrunner, I did go out of my way to make sure that they're optimized for the task laid out at hand. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this video. Like the video if you dug it. And I'd love to hear from you guys, so if you're so compelled, please feel free to comment down below or find me on my socials. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. You stay frosty hunters and get lifted. Cheers and be well.